All right, now that you've seen the phase diagrams, let's talk about some of the particular parts of the phase diagram that represent important points in the phase diagram. Okay, so we're going to focus here on critical points. So besides the separation between the different phases, between solid and liquid and liquid and gas and solid and gas, there are also sort of two points on the phase diagram that were pretty interesting and important. Okay. One is at the very end of the liquid and gas region, there's a point called the critical point. And that point has a critical temperature and a critical pressure. So we can think of the critical temperature as the highest temperature where both a gas and a liquid can exist as completely distinct phases. Okay, another way to phrase that is I can take a liquid and always just produce it from a gas just by increasing the pressure of the gas. Okay, I can liquefy the gas into a liquid just by increasing the pressure as long as the temperature is below the critical temperature. There's also something called the critical pressure, which is the highest pressure where the gas and the liquid can exist as distinct phases as well. If I go above the critical pressure, then I can't really distinguish between the liquid and the gas anymore. So in other words, I could always produce a liquid just by decreasing the temperature of the gas as long as I'm below that critical pressure. If I go beyond this critical point, I have something called supercritical fluid. Sounds pretty fancy, right? So let me show you some pictures to illustrate this. On this image here, I'm trying to show you the difference between liquid and gas. So on the bottom here is liquid, and on the top here is gas, and there's a pretty clear boundary between them. But what you can see is that as I change the conditions, the temperature and the pressure, the phase boundary starts to get less and less distinct, and eventually I get to here where I can't distinguish them at all. This is where I've created a super critical fluid, or SCF for short. Okay. There's another point that's of interest in the phase diagram, which is called the triple point. So what happens at the triple point is all three phases can coexist at equilibrium, which basically means I have solid, liquid, and gas all present in my sample at the exact same time. Okay. The triple point for something is fixed. I can't change it, can't alter it. It is what it is, and that's it. But it is a property of that substance. Okay, and so every substance has at least one triple point where it can have a solid, a liquid, and a gas all there at the exact same time.